Okay, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about standard out and standard error and a really helpful command that you can use when you're thinking about debugging programs um, uh, that you're going to be running on the command line. So let's start by running a Java program. So I have this Java program called mystery.java. So I'm going to run it again using the new Java way, just passing in the full Java name rather than explicitly compiling and running the class. And so it prints these three things. This is a line of text, this is a second line of text, this is a third line of text. Great. And let's just say I suppose I wanted to save this output to a file. Um, so let's maybe call it mysteryout.txt. Now take a second and predict what is this going to do? What is this command going to do? I pipe, uh, if I, not pipe, if I use this waka to go to mysteryout.txt, what is this going to do? Okay. So hopefully you'd think it saves it to the file. And you're mostly right when I hit enter. It, two of those lines disappear, but one of them's still there. And if I cat mystery out.txt, those first two lines are there. So this file redirection thing doesn't seem that great if it only got two thirds of it correct. Well, let's look at mystery.java and see what happens. It's printing three lines, but notice the second line is being printed to system.error. So it's printing the second line to system error rather than standard out. That's why when we did that redirection, because redir uh, that redirection only works on standard out, um, it's only changing those fir the first and third line. So what if you wanted to save standard error to a file? Well, you could do something like standard or Java mystery.java. And then we kind of introduced this at the end of last week but the way you redirect standard error is you use this uh, uh, to and uh, mystery, uh, let's call this mystery error.txt. Right? Uh, and so if I cat mystery error.txt, we get that second line right there. And you could, you know, com combine these. Uh, so you could say something like go to mystery out dot txt for standard out and mystery error for the other one and this is just going to leave this exactly as it was before mystery outs that and then mystery error is this one so all fine and dandy but it is pretty tedious to always send files to two locations because you know a lot of times a real program is kind of hit or miss which ones are going to standard out which ones are going to standard error sometimes you just want to send all output to a file so you don't have to like look in two different places um, so we uh, showed you how to do this very briefly at the end of class, uh, the last lecture, where you can say, instead of sending standard error to somewhere else, you could use uh, standard stream references. So you'd say, send standard error to wherever uh, standard output is going. And uh, usually the standard streams are numbered, zero is input, one is output, two is error. And so what this is saying is send the output for standard error to wherever standard output is. If you've seen any C yet in 351, it's kind of familiar to this uh, ampersand being a reference or getting a pointer to something. That's kind of what this syntax is saying, get a reference to whatever one is re uh, referencing and send that there. And now when you run this, everything is going to go to mystery out uh, uh, .txt, which is pretty handy dandy. Now, one minor note, um, you know, you use this every once in a while, so it's good to, to remember this, uh, but order apparently does matter in bash. So if you try, oh, let me go back and put a T at the end. If you try to do this redirection of standard error to standard out first, it's still going to print standard error to the screen, uh, to the console. And the reason is, is it, it parses these from left to right. So when we done it, we did it this way, it started redirecting standard error to whatever standard out was, which at this point, at that, that point in the command is still just the console. And then we redirected standard out to be to this file. And so just to make sure you do any reference redirection, it's usually best that you put those at the end. Um, Technically, one thing I guess I should mention is that like you can also use one waka to talk about standard out explicitly, but we, we never need to do that. It's just assume standard out when you use wakas. Bash knows how to handle that, which is pretty handy. Um, so there we go. So this is usually kind of the most common 
uh, common thing you want, which is this um, uh, redirect standard out to a file and redirect standard error to be standard out. Cool. Now, unfortunately, when you do this, you can't see anything anymore while the program's running. So maybe the program takes a long time to run, um, or um, you really just want to see any errors as they're happening. So it'd be kind of nice if you could say, please print it to both the console and save it to a file. And unfortunately, there's not a way to do that without an extra handy dandy command. So we are going to use the T command to help us with this. T, I believe, stands for like a T pipe where you can like send a stream of water in two different directions. I don't actually know. Um, T is a really helpful command for helping you debug because it lets you save output to a file while printing it out at the same time. So let's try this. I'm going to run Java mystery and then um, pipe it into this T program. And T takes one command line argument for a file name. So I'm going to call this one tout.txt. I run this and it prints both to the command line, to the console, it printed all three things, but in tout, it also saved the contents here. Now, there's a, you might notice a problem there already with it doesn't have that line that printed to standard error. We'll get there in one second. But the idea of T is relatively straightforward. It both saves the contents of standard output to a, um, to a file, tout.txt, and at the same time, it's also printing it, which is really useful so you can watch it while it's running in case you're like printing things every once in a while, and you can save those results later without having like copy paste or anything like that. So our next thing that I want us to solve together is let's try to think of a way to fix this so that standard error also got printed in T. So I want you to take a minute and try uh, printing. You want to run this uh, Java program mystery. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What would be the command to output both standard error and standard output to mystery out.txt and print both of the console? So you want both of those things at the same time. So go ahead, take a second and try that out. Okay, so this one's a little challenging. I think there's kind of two instincts here for how you might try to go about this. The first would be, can I think about changing the T command, that second part, to also kind of know to capture standard error and pipe that to, uh, and save that to the file? That is, I actually don't know off the top of my head if that's possible. I don't know if T and take some other arguments to, to work with standard error, but there's always a guaranteed workaround here which is let's just make sure before we get to the T command that all of the things we want are in standard output. And so what we could do is use that redirection. So say standard error, please go to standard out. And so this Java program is gonna print both standard error and standard out to standard out. And then that gets piped into T, which only cares about standard output and then we'll print it both to the console and save it to the file. And in this example, I told you to call this file mysteryout.txt. And so now we get three lines of output here and we get three lines of output uh, to this file. So I would say T is a very useful command for debugging long-term processes, ones that kind of are running for a while or might take a while. So like, for example, I do a lot of stuff with machine learning usually takes my models a few hours to train. And you betcha, every time I'm training a model, I run it through T so I can see its output as we're going and make sure I save the results for later. So definitely like one of the top 10 commands I use all the time. So hopefully with that, we get a better, bit better understanding of output and error. And this T command, you can see how useful it is. In the next video, we're gonna introduce one last command that we're gonna use with uh, input output and processing files.